Whoo, what's happening fam? LA all movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. The good boys, they just get treated bad. Um, so I had this conversation with my son. Excuse me. And and I, and this stems from me too. Uh so I got him a bike, go to football practice. But I tell him, when you're riding your bike, don't ride it with the flow of traffic. Ride it where you can see the traffic coming. Because people like, for some odd reason, they want to run you, try to run you off the road and run you over. You can't see them, you know, if they're behind you. And he sees what I'm talking about. You know, and I, do, and I get it all the time when I'm jogging. You know what I'm saying? Because there are no sidewalks. Um... In, in, in this particular suburb, the sidewalks are um, in the subdivisions, but not outside the subdivisions. So, talking, and, and it just stemmed from, from a whole different conversation. I thought about us as adults, right? You know, when they say things like, oh man, the kids don't do what kids used to do. The kids don't go outside and play. And I talked about that. The kids don't ride bikes. The kids don't, you know, the kids just sitting in the house and watching TV, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, and, you know, it dawned on me because of this situation, one of the reasons. And I was like, you know, parents don't trust people anymore. And it's y'all, you know, like, as much as y'all want to say, y'all wish kids would do things like, go outside and play and play in the street and, and you know you know play play dodgeball or play ball in the street what i've noticed more, and more go play in the park go play basketball is y'all don't want these kids to be kids especially if they're good kids and they're not causing any trouble so like i said like he's riding a bike y'all want to act like y'all y'all want to run them off the road you know if they go to the park y'all want to call the police because they're in the park if they're in the street playing y'all want to get them out the street because y'all don't want them playing in the street and it's like all right this is what we doing this is what we doing mm -hmm. and they always talk about the um the squeaky wheel gets the grease right and we gonna have to take this up another notch because what else what else happens y'all give so much attention to the kid that's just out of pocket the kids that are out of pocket get more rewards than the kids that are doing the right thing that's just what it is and, and, and the boys in particular, this, this is why, you know, where are the, where are the good guys? Ask, ask how they got treated when they was little boys. Where were they then? You know, how many of the good kids who got good grades, you know what I mean, and, and good behavior, how many of them got the fly clothes for back to, to go back to school? How many of them got it? How many of them said, look, I want, I want, this, you know, I want I want an iPhone. How many of them good kids got the iPhone? It, it normally none. A few, I ain't gonna say none, but few, few, few. Cause hey, they gonna make it happen. They gonna they gonna be all right. They gonna be so the, so the good kids get treated badly, and then you wonder why the good kids just kind of become good kids, good young adults, good adults, and then God bless the child that's got his own right. You know, that's why if you if you pay attention in society it's gonna get kinda of weird, but a lot of parenting has changed to the point where good kids were rewarded for being good kids. I even remember in the church, the church will give you money for making the honor roll. That don't happen no more. <laughs> you know, that don't they give you twenty dollars for making the honor roll. You get hey, the, the, the church looking out for the good kids. Now, mm mm. Mm -mm. Nah, not a church taking care of the bad parents who can't afford to buy their kids Christmas gifts because they've been playing around all year long. Not a church is, is, is a place for the sick, a place for the healed, the broken, and the wounded. So that ain't a place for, for the good boys anymore anyways, you know. That you could touch them if they was in the choir anyway, but you know, we're not gonna go there. I already went there, but whatever. Um, same thing, you know, 
as far as, you know, oh, he's, the, the, he's such a nice boy, a.k.a. if, you know, I got more love for the, for the kid that might rob me than the kid that might actually do right by me. So I'm going to treat the kid that'll do right by me. Yeah, I'm going to just give them an extra little, 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 little you know, uh, slap around because they might, they might do right by me because I want to toughen them up. I want to toughen them up because they too good. You know, the world's not a good place. Okay. But what about the the, <clears throat> the person that's too bad? Are you going to soften them up to make sure they're good? Nope. So they get treated badly. Get, just, just, you know, get treated badly. And then, and then, <laughs> and then when they start, you know, uh, responding back to bad treatment, then all of a sudden, who hurt you? You're bitter. You're mean. You're toxic. I don't know what happened. What you mean you don't know what happened? How did you treat them when they were a good kid? Because these good boys are not getting treated good. They're getting treated like, mm, you ain't caught a felony, I don't love you. Like, that's trifling. But, this is my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.